Kakuma is one of the largest refugee camps in Africa, located in the northwest region of Kenya, a home to more than 300,000 refugees from more than 20 countries across the world. It's really important for the future of Kakuma to be integrated to the community. And the Kakuma Map Initiative is critical to sustainability. We leverage AI, machine learning, and open source on GitHub to make the project happen. The Kakuma refugee hosted areas were not really meant for human habitation. It's been here for 30 years, and the municipality of Kakuma decided to officially annex this region so that they could receive services. There's no grid, certainly no infrastructure. Spatial data on the area is a critical component to making sure that annexation works for the long term. To manually map this area was incredibly prohibitive and probably would have never happened. What the team ended up doing was enabling the refugees in the camp to help identify what's going on in a very small portion, roughly 16 square kilometers. Uh, so apart from the solar panels, mm -hmm. there are also those poles. Okay, we should be able to capture it through the uh, data collection exercise. Oh, okay. yes, yes, yes. And then using AI extrapolate from that what's going on in the rest of the camp. Everything is there, I can yes, see. Yes, yes. <laughs> Everything. The actual data collection activity was entirely by the locals, all the way from introducing the project to flying the drones. Technology is critical to the success of Kakuma and the refugee community. We map everything which can be seen easily. Hospital. Mm -hmm. It could also be the office. The office, yes. yes. Yeah. It, could be, it could be the office. It is all the community. We didn't forget anyone. <laughs> As Scientists within the AI space, it was very important for us to work with teams that understand the human aspect, that understand the implications. Green dots are the ground truth uh, pole locations. While the we saw AI as an opportunity to accelerate the work. With the data set that we got, an electrical company, power, to, yeah, yes, power yes. generator. Yes. We were able to train models on that. Once you've trained a model on a small amount of data, it's very fast to get predictions on new areas. We have open source code for mapping solar panels, buildings, roof types, sanitation facilities, and anyone can independently use this stuff. You can see single phase lines, right? The data is open source, the code's open on GitHub. Everything is out there, guys. GitHub Copilot definitely saved me time making sure things were formatted in a consistent way for the final public repo. GitHub is the beginning for the next phase of this project. We've had students use the code, other UN agencies. Connecting developers, civic technologists, data scientists to these kind of problems is our mission. We want everything that we've learned to be part of the broader knowledge of assisting refugees. And GitHub is a critical component to making sure that this code is available to others around the world.